Hello everybody out there and welcome back here with the future once again to a really cool showcase and review for everybody out there. I have to say, I have to thank all my um, recent subscribers. If this is your first time watching and you like what you see here, make sure you hit the subscribe, drop the comment down below, and give me a like if you like what you see. I appreciate all the feedback lately. I hope everybody out there had a happy new year. And today I'm going to do something. Um, if you see my last video, I kind of did a room tour, a journey through the future zone of kind of my front room area that you see behind me of all the cool stuff. But there is another area, like my kitchen and my front room are pretty much connected as you can see here. So I have my washer and dryer here, but above here about 2010 um, or 11, I started this Marvel Universe men on card collection uh, wall. I just started you know, tacking them all up on the wall and I centered it around a poster as you're gonna see here. And I really think, think it's cool. So I'm gonna go through here and show off. Um, I'm gonna try to do it you know, rather quickly. Um, so I don't take forever, but I'm not going to go like int um, any intricate detail on them or anything. Um, I will give a little bit of a hypnosis over the line though before I do, but I'll go over and show each one off single card and then I'll show my box sets that I have off. And these range from between 2009 to 2012. Um, as far as I know, if anybody you know knows any different, let me know. But as far as I know as a line, um, they do not look like this anymore, but... Um, they may. I mean, I kind of got out of the collecting of the Marvel Universe after, you know, I got out of college and stuff. And I pretty much, you know, the collection I have here that I'm showing off is pretty much my collection until I start getting some more money and I will try to build up and get some that I do not have so far. But I'm going to take a look at all of them for everybody today. So I hope everybody enjoys that. I hope everybody had a happy new year, as I said. And uh, yeah, let's get the video started. I do have my Wolverine hat on today, too. Um, my X-Men Wolverine hat. Had it for a while. It's uh, not in the greatest shape, but I thought it uh, was fitting for this video. So uh, yeah, let's turn the camera around and uh, check out the wall of Men on Card Marvel Universe 3 and 3 quarter inch action figures. These are the single cards that I do have um, on my Marvel wall at this time. As you can see, very cool. I kind of went through and tried to dust a lot of them off. Um, they do get rather dusty. That's one pet peeve I have of mine about being a men on card collector, or collector, excuse me, and having all this is because um, you have to keep them dusted off or they're gonna get so dusty, it's just incredible. But a little um, write up that I have over the line here for everybody who doesn't know, Marvel Universe is a three and three quarter inch action figure line manufactured by Hasbro, featuring characters from the Marvel Comics universe. It first hit stores in early 2009 and features detailed sculpting, multiple points of articulation, and accessories. And the line was created by Hasbro designer Dave Vanner, or Vonner, I can't remember if that's an A or an O, I wrote that down so I may be wrong. But yeah, um, 2009 to 2012 is what these figures range from, so that's a little write-up for anybody who doesn't know about the line or came in late on the line and is just now finding out. Um, you see, I do have some other things here as well that I didn't show off in the last Journey Through the Future Zone. So, yep, there you got the uh, Scooby-Doo and the rest of the uh, team there. Um, I just need the mystery machine for them all to go in. Just a lot of random things there that don't have to do with Marvel. But let's get in to the Marvel Universe line. And yeah, I have to climb up on my washer and dryer above here to start this off. Sorry about the lighting being terrible. Um, but you know, this is about as good as it's going to get, um, as far as lighting goes over here in this area. Um, I have over here, you know, he was the star of his own movie lately. You have Dr. Strange, um, Stephen Strange, always loved his character. I love the, um, art up to the left on these figures and just to show off the backing, you, every character is pretty much the same. You know, you show the figure off up to the right, you have a ride up on the figure there. And then other ones from the line, and usually like Steve Rogers or somebody telling you to collect them all. Um, and then it says what series and everything. So I said these are different series, waves, and years. Next you have Bullseye. I'm not going to flip around and show everyone. I'm just going to go through here. This will take forever. We're, almost, we're already four minutes in. And then Bull, Bullseye is, of course, the arch nemesis of Daredevil. And I have black suit variant Daredevil there. I don't have the red suit uh, Daredevil. I am going to give a look at the card, though, and try to give a look at the figure. Then here is Shadowland Daredevil from the 2012 series that I got into and only got a few from the line. Uh, 
Um, but um, going down from there, we have the Ghost Rider. Gotta love Ghost Rider. He's one of my favorite figures. And the lighting, I wish it was better here. Um, here is two of my favorites from the line. You have none other than World War Hulk. Did I get a good shot of the art there for um, Ghost Rider? World War Hulk comes. And, and what's weird about this one, he's sealed and he's meant on card. And it's the only one um, that I have ever saw that doesn't come with his broadsword. Um, it looks like he was meant to have it in there, but it's not in there. And this thing has never been opened or resealed. So it's kind of weird. I'm going to try to get this one off so we can get a better look at him here. Because this is one of my favorite ones. But yeah, he doesn't have his sword. Like it should go right across his chest there. Um, but he doesn't have it. So very weird. And next to him is his son Scar. And Scar's got his um, razor edge sword there. As you can see. Scar is very cool too. He's got the long hair and everything. Kind of hard to focus in without um, really good lighting over here. But uh, trying to do the best that I can on the camera work. And next to him you got uh, Doc Samson, which everybody knows. Um, Scar, I'm going to take Scar off too because I want to show him because he's one of the cooler ones from the line as well. And it's hard to see in this corner. Yeah, that's the son of uh, World War Hulk, Scar. So very cool. And then, of course, Doc Samson. You can see a little better there. Um, down here you have Cable. Sorry about the focusing, too. Then going over to the very, very cool icy figure of Iceman. And then um, she made her first movie appearance in the recent movie Logan. You have X-23. But this is adult X-23. Um, then another character that I'm really wishing that they'd get in, into a movie. And that's Submariner. Um, down below that is my Wolverine section here. It's a uh, first appearance Wolverine. Right there. And he fought the Hulk in his first appearance. Like the card art too. You see the ears on him were not as long. Then you have Astonishing X-Men... Wolverine. Wolverine, definitely one of my favorite figures and characters. Then you have the Jim Lee version of Wolverine there without the mask. Very cool. Very cool. Then there is Team X Wolverine without a mask too, but in his Team X outfit. Got a nice machine gun there too. And you see all the card backs are different. Jim Lee one. Team X. Astonishing. First appearance. Very cool. Then coming down here, you start over here with Absorbing Man. Um, the Absorbing Variant. To the ball and chain there on that one. And then this is the regular, ver regular variant. Or just the regular one in the variant. Very cool figures. Um, then you have the cool... Ninja Ronin. I really like that figure. Just a really cool looking figure overall. Don't know too much about the character. Didn't he have Multiple Man? They did have some variants of Multiple Man that had two in the package. Um, then you have Marvel's Wrecker here. As we go down low. To the bottom row here. Then you have uh, Gladiator here. Don't know too much about Gladiator. And then up from him, you have Falcon going over to Bucky, which is the sidekick of Captain America. And there's their card backs. Showing off the card backs there. And then down below Bucky, we have uh, Marvel's Hawkeye, which is a really cool figure. Comes with his bow and arrow and all. Like they said, the sculpting and articulation of these figures are re really caught my eye and got me into them. Then you have Winter Soldier here, who is Bucky Gone Bad, so he's right below. Tried to put him in somewhat of an order. Then you have Captain America, as plain old Steve Rogers there, leading the Avengers. Here's Thanos down and below, who's uh, made his uh, impact on the movie scene lately for the MU movie universe. And then there's just regular, you know, Avenger Hulk, 
next to Captain America. And then you have Thor. And he's above Ultron. Um, and everybody knows Age of Ultron. Um, there's Moon Knight, one of my favorite Marvel figures. Just the look of him and really cool. He's compared to a lot of times as like Marvel's version of Batman. Um, then you have Iron Fist, who has his own show on Netflix now. Very cool. And they had ones with like Shining Fist, I'm pretty sure. Here's Electro. It looked a lot different in the movie than he does as this figure. You see, and that included a shield file with secret code. They all had little things in them that they included. Here's Constrictor, which was, yeah, some of these are fans' choice runners-ups and winners. Then over to Guardian and Union Jack there. Above him, you have Yellow Jacket with Ant-Man. Very sweet that they added a little Ant-Man in there. You can see the top secret file behind him, too. Then you have Iron Patriot. Hey, this is coming into my Iron Man. I don't think, yeah, did I show Constrictor? Yeah, I did. The Guardian. The Guardian's like the Captain America for Canada. Then you have Iron Man 2020. Um, modular Armor Iron Man. I'm a big Iron Man fan, so I got all the versions of Iron Man. Just classic Iron Man there. And then Tony Stark Iron Man. Helmet off and all. And going over to Thor. That was like my Avengers section. And there's the card back arts for all those Iron Mans. 2020 is cool. Yeah, Iron Patriot. Just a different kind of version of the suit. Then there's Marvel Sunfire. Over to two cool ones. Darkhawk and Apocalypse. I really love Apocalypse. He's one of my favorite figures and favorite characters. And I mean, just look at the likeness on him. If I can get in good likeness of so the shot. I'll try to get him off and get a good shot of him because he is so cool in the face. Eh. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Really like this guy. Can't get him to keep focused, but there's a good shot of Apocalypse. And then next to Apocalypse, we have none other than one of my favorites of all time, ever since I've been a kid. And that's none other than The Punisher, who has his own Netflix series too, which I've yet to check out. I need to. I think they had the white glove version of him too. Other than this is the all black version. A lot of variants in this. Then you had Miss Marvel right there. And she was right underneath Captain Marvel. How fitting. Um, over to Colossus. He's right above one of the 2012 ones I picked up. That's Storm. And she's next to Kitty Pride with her dragon. And another one of the. Well, no, that's. This is Mystique. That's a cool one. And then Havoc up here, which was a fan's choice one, right next to his brother, Cyclops. And then above him you have the Thing. This is like my Fantastic Four spot. Um, Silver Surfer. Really cool one. Doctor Doom. I think he's one of the best ones on the line. You know, the arch nemesis of the Fantastic Four. And then you got Magneto. Um, over here, the Secret Wars pack, you had Mr. Fantastic and Ultron. Different version of Ultron. He has red eyes, I think, instead of green in this one, yeah. And then the Human Torch in his uh, lit up mode. And here's like the Dollar General ones. You had Hulk. They were just kind of more basic, but they were part of the Marvel Universe line. Iron Man. And uh, Captain America, I think they did a Spider-Man. Well, there's the Spider-Man. I think they did one more, a Wolverine, actually. Forgot that the Spider-Man was right under there, though. So those are the Dollar General line ones there. And these are the comic packs that came with the comic. The Secret Wars, Ultron, Mr. Fantastic. Then you have um, Dark Wolverine and Dark Spider-Man there. Greatest Battles comic packs. That was cool, the Dark Avengers. 
And then the Captain America annual, you had Captain America and Wolverine. And the Greatest Battles comic back. And this Greatest Battles one back here, which I'll have to move this to show you, is none other than Spider-Man and uh, Captain Britain there and Spider-Man packaged upside down. And speaking of Spider-Man, you know I do have the one there. And to end this off, to go up top here, so bear with me, we have uh, right next to Magneto there, um, the arch nemesis of Spider-Man, Green Goblin. And he's right next to Dark's Dark Costume. Um, yeah, that's what they call him. Black Costume Spider-Man. Very cool. And then just basic Spider-Man from the Hammer Files series. Very cool. And then Spider-Man packaged upside down. They had a variant of him packaged upside down next to the Scarlet Spider packaged upside down. Pretty much a Spider-Man clone. And then, last but not least, Spider-Woman. One of my favorites. Don't know too much about Spider-Woman either, but there's the card back for them. But yeah, that is all of the single card um, ones that I have on the Marvel wall over here. Um, there's Skull, Scar, and uh, World War Hulk down here. My dryer. But yeah, um, now we're going to go over and take a look at the sets um, that are also part of my three and three quarter inch Hasbro Marvel Universe line. And we'll call it a video. So uh, bear with me. Okay, so I'm back over here at my review um, table. And the Christmas tree is gone, obviously, because uh, we are past New Year, and that's when I take it down. First of all, I have a Black Goliath versus uh, Cybernetic Thor down here. It's just Goliath and Thor, but there are different versions of uh, Goliath. And this is the African-American version of Goliath. You see how big he is. He's huge. Um, this Superman stands about 14 inches tall, so he's about like a 12-inch figure or so. And then, of course, uh, Thor with the cybernetic, like, Terminator deal going on. Badass. At least it's a different version of Thor. All my vi versions of Thor are different. This is the classic Avengers set that they made. They made a few box sets. Um, with different classic groups. You even get uh, Ant-Man, Wasp up in here. And the original Iron Man, which is very, very cool. I've showed these off in past videos, but doing an overall collection review and then over here we have from the cartoon series fantastic four i do have an invisible woman figure because she's in this pack and i have a hurry the robot from the series as too but there's another thing and another um mr fantastic in there um but the invisible woman in there as well as herbie um, they had to make it kid-friendly. They couldn't put the Human Torch in the cartoon series. So that's the reason that uh, Herbie ended up in there. But I do have that Human Torch fig to go beside the set. And then the last one, I did a review on this one already. You got Star-Lord, Drax, Rocky Ra Rocket Raccoon, and uh, Groot in there um, from Guardians of the Galaxy. And this was 2011-2012. I did a review on it already. Um, I'll definitely put that up in the right and you can go back and check that out. But, uh, yeah, that's one of the better box sets that they made. But, yeah, that'll do it for my complete mint on card, mint in package, whatever you want to call it. Marvel Universe Hasbro, um, 2009 to 2012, um, complete mint on card collection, showcase, and review. And I also have this cool Cyclops part of the, uh, Marvel Legends line here. I didn't get to show much of this the other day on my, because uh, everything was blocked. Superhero Squad. Um, there's a lot of the Mega Blocks and stuff up there. All my Batmobiles and whatnot. Some Pez. Nice Lord of the Rings Pez set. But yeah, um, that'll do it. A lot of my figures are laid out down here that I usually have standing up. But yeah, that's going to do it, guys. And uh, thanks for checking this out. And um, as always... Make sure you hit that subscribe button, give me a like, drop a comment down below if you like what you saw. Um, I really dig my marble wall, so I hope everybody else digs it just as much. 
and enjoyed checking this out. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. But yeah, guys, until next time, I thank you for watching. And as always, keep collecting. <laughs> Listen to what the Incredible Hulk has to say. And yeah, guys, until next time, as always, keep collecting and peace out.